Hi, this is Don Campbell, and welcome to this Expand to Web screencast. In this screencast, I'd like to pick up where we left off with our WordPress site uh, and show you how to use a tool called an FTP client to upload the chiropractor to web WordPress theme to your new blog. So in the last video, we, we signed up for Bluehost and use simple scripts to install and set up a WordPress site. And you can see here that the site is up and running, um, but it's a very basic site, doesn't do much yet. And what we want to do is make it look like a business website. And to do that, we need to install the Chiropractor to Web WordPress theme. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is go look at the download file. And this is the zip file that you downloaded um, if you signed up and, and downloaded the Chiropractor to Web theme. If I Double click it, I'm going to end up with a folder. And this folder contains the WordPress theme. And we need to get those files onto our Bluehost server. The way you do that is with a tool called an FTP client. There are a number of freely available FTP clients. Uh, there's one called FileZilla that's available for both um, the Mac and for Windows. There's another free tool called Cyberduck on the Mac. Uh, and you can download these. Um, here are the Here's the address for, for CyberDoc. It's cyberduck.ch. Uh, and then FileZilla is filezilla-project.org. You can go to there uh, and download those files uh, in, in just a few minutes. Now, in my case, um, I'm going to use a tool called CyberDoc because I'm on the Mac. But this, the concept is the same for pretty much any FTP client. And the first thing we need to do is go get our login information from Bluehost so we know how to configure the client. Now if I go into um, Bluehost, you will have, uh, if you've signed up already, you will have gotten a username and password. And I'm going to go ahead and log in. And most hosting providers use this, what they call the cPanel admin, administration interface. So even if you're not using Bluehost, this should still work. The first thing I'm going to do is go to FTP accounts. And this is where I'm going to get my account information. I click on this. I'm going to see a whole bunch of different FTP accounts, and I can create new ones. Um, but I'm going to get the data for for the, the one I need. I'm just going to click on Configure FTP Client. And they're going to give me things like, what's the username and, and the FTP server I need to contact? And what's even cooler is they give you these little auto-config files. If you're using FileZilla or CyberDuck, you can just download the configuration file right here. What we're going to do is grab this uh, basic information, and then I'm going to go over to this tool called CyberDuck and show you uh, how to enter that in. So in my case, uh, I just gave this a nickname. I created a new host, and, and the way I did this is just by cr clicking on this plus sign down here. Uh, and that allows you to create a brand new entry in your FTP client. Uh, I have to give it a server name, which is just my domain that I used to sign up. I have a username, and in my case, I gave it a path because I had to st install it in a subdirectory. Normally, all you will need is this public underscore HTML, and this is going to put me in the proper directory as soon as I log in. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to double click, and what you're going to see here is a file directory that lives on my server, and this is the directory that WordPress has been installed in. And I can tell that because of these directories, this WP admin, WP content, and includes. What we want to do is navigate to this WP content directory and into the subdirectory called themes. Now, this themes folder here, this themes directory, has two files, uh, two folders in it. And these are the default themes that come with WordPress. And what we need to do is take our theme, the chiropractor to web theme, and just drag it in here. Now, this uh, FTP tool is going to copy all of these files over, and it only takes a minute. Grabs that folder, and it puts it into the same directory as the other themes in WordPress. So that should be just about done. And if I look here, now I've got the Cairo folder and all the things associated with it. Now, we don't have to get into these files. The important thing is that file is here. And now we're pretty much done with FTP. I can close this down. Um, and what I'm going to do now is go into my WordPress site and log in. Now when you set this up, you will have gotten um, an admin login. <clears throat> and it's usually the admin user ID along with a password that 
it will have been emailed to you when you set this up. And this is going to take me into the um, WordPress admin panel. Now from here there's a whole bunch of options on, you know, this is sort of like my dashboard for WordPress. And this allows me to go in and create new content on my site and change the themes and do all kinds of things like that. What we're interested in right now is over on the left hand side there's a menu of administration functions and we want to go to appearance because that's where we can change the themes. And if I go in here now you're going to see that because I copied that folder over I've got um, the chiropractor to web theme here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then I'm going to say activate. And when, when I click on this activate theme it's going to turn on the chiropractor theme. Now it's really important now um, that you go to the chiropractor to web options over on the appearance section. The first thing you do is you want to go here. This is sort of like a little uh, bug in WordPress, but I need to go to this options panel at least once in order for my theme to properly activate. Now these are the options, and I'm going to go into this in another video, but this is where you can change all kinds of things like your business name, the color theme of your site, uh, you can include a Google map, your contact information, all kinds of stuff goes in here. And this is a special custom options panel that's part of the chiropractor to web theme. For now, just save the changes, and let's go back to our our cool little website. I'm going to click up here where it says visit site. If you take a look here, um, I'm going to click on that. It's going to take us to our site and here we go. Now we've activated the chiropractor to web WordPress theme and we are, we're good to go. Now the next step is going to be go, to go back to that options panel and put our business information and our own images and customize the site a little bit and we'll cover that in the next video. So hopefully this was helpful and um, stay tuned for the next video and we'll go into some de details on how you can tweak this to look uh, just right for your business. Thanks.